What is a septic system? Is a septic system good or bad? I've lived with septic systems for most of my life and I've sold a ton of homes with septic tanks as they're very prevalent here in Central Florida where I live and work. Today, I'll be explaining what a septic system is and then I'll be addressing whether they are good or bad. So be sure to stick around because this is a subject that's often misunderstood by many homeowners. First, let's address exactly what a septic system is. Well, a septic tank is an underground tank used to move waste and wastewater through the process of decomposition and drainage. In less fancy words, it's a holding tank where household waste, including poop, naturally breaks down. Then the water is sent off to the drain field, which is another component of the overall septic system. I'll have more on the drain field here in a bit. Septic tanks are typically made of all sorts of materials, including fiberglass, plastic, or concrete, which is what I see most often here in Central Florida. When drainage is good, they're usually buried underground, almost unnoticeable. When drainage isn't so great, septic tanks are buried underground, but there may be a hump, a slight hump in the ground. In this situation, there's sometimes a pump that helps to move the wastewater along in the process, whereas when the tank is completely underground, gravity does the work. Typically, at least here in the Central Florida area, septic systems tend to be more commonplace in rural areas, whereas sewers tend to be more common closer to town. Before we get to the process of a septic tank and the septic system, if you're finding value here, support this channel by hitting the like and the subscribe button and click that little notification bell while you're there. So let's address the process of how a septic system works in plain English. While household waste leaves our drains or toilets and heads out of the home and into a septic tank where it begins to break down through a naturally occurring process using living bacteria. As this waste is breaking down, water leaves the septic tank and flows into the drain field, which is this large section of baffles with holes in them that's just underground most yards that have septic systems. As this water is dispersed into these baffles, it flows into the ground where, over time, it's naturally filtered and clean, ending up in our aquifers as part of the whole hydrological cycle that we learned about back in third grade. I'm a local realtor and just the other day I met with a home buyer who called after watching one of these videos and he was moving down here from Chicago, but he was staunchly opposed to a septic system. When I asked why this was the case, he didn't really have a reason. He just knew that he didn't like them because they didn't have many of them in Chicago. I briefly explained how they worked, but it didn't really matter and that was okay. Here in the outskirts of Orlando, I'm guessing that probably half of our homes are on septic systems. So his choice of homes was limited by his decision, but he still had plenty of options. And today we're out helping him weigh those options as we help him find a local home. So now we have a general idea of just what a septic tank is. Let's take a broad look at whether septic tanks and septic systems are good or bad for you. So let's start with the advantages of septic tanks. First, you don't have to be connected to some municipality paying monthly wastewater bills. Some say that there's a positive environmental impact too. They say that because of the way the wastewater seeps down through the ground that there's a natural benefit as pollutants are naturally broken down. Although there is an upfront cost to installing a septic system, that can pay for itself in light of the wastewater bills that you are not paying as I spoke of earlier. Septic systems can last forever too, maybe 40 or 50 years if properly maintained. Speaking of maintaining your septic system, it's important to note that you should never put certain things into that septic system that might inhibit decomposition or obstruct the drain field from doing its work. Just a few items include grease or oil, some chemicals, coffee grounds, pharmaceuticals, bones, hygiene products, and anything else that would not naturally break down. There are commercial products out there to promote biological breakdown of waste in septic tanks, but I don't personally know how necessary these products are once a septic system already has that naturally occurring bacteria, most of which comes from right in our guts. So what are some disadvantages of septic tanks? Well, septic companies recommend pumping out septic systems every few years, which could be a few hundred bucks, maybe 400 bucks a pop. Now, I don't know if that's really necessary if a septic system is properly cared for, but I'm really not an expert in this area. So you should do your own research here. Whenever we help a new home, home buyer, we always encourage them to have the septic system inspected and pumped out as a precautionary measure. As I noted earlier, you need to pay attention to what is going on down in that tank. By allowing these items that I spoke of a minute ago into your septic system, you could end up spending thousands of dollars replacing part, or heck, your entire septic system. As I record this today, I believe a new septic system is gonna run between four and $8,000 for an average home here in the Orlando area. 
However, there are some municipalities in our area that are placing restrictions on new septic systems, and these systems could cost significantly, maybe double this. Septic systems with that hump, like I spoke of earlier, are very unsightly too, practically wrecking that entire section of your yard. Even if it's not raised, you should never drive anything heavy over your septic tank or your drain field, or you may crush it. Tree roots can ruin a septic system too, but I'll have more on them in a minute. Speaking of your yard, if you ever plan to put in a swimming pool, remember that a swimming pool doesn't just sit on top of your yard, uh, and the local government is likely going to have setbacks that could alter your plans to put a swimming pool in there as well. Trees, especially large trees, have the ability to kind of seek out septic systems, and if their roots get into your system, it can be a real problem. If a septic pipe or the drain field is obstructed or ruptured, it can create a real stinky problem in your house, so pay attention here. What am I missing here? Although I do have a good bit of experience using a septic system, and I've had them installed many times over the years, I noted before that I'm not an expert on septic systems. So make a note in the comments section below on what you've learned about septic systems that I might be missing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.